The sun's so bright, my God. Your call has been forwarded. I'm supposed to meet Hector for lunch. It's 12 p.m. right now. We're supposed to meet at 12. I'm not usually an impatient person. And I'm not really in this situation either, but let me tell you a little fact about Hector. This guy is notoriously, like, minimum 45 minutes late to everything. And I don't know why every single time I give him the benefit of the doubt that he's going to make it. So let's hope that he's less than, like, 20 minutes late right now. I thought this guy would take 25 minutes. It took him... Let's see. You turn it? <laughs> he was five minutes early from being 25 minutes late. <laughs> give that like a 9 out of 10. That sandwich was good. The only reason I don't give it a 10 out of 10 is because nothing's perfect. What do you give it, Hector? Huh? What do oh, you the give food? It? Yeah. Fucking four. Are you, are that you was serious? abomination. <laughs> he did, Hector don't like that because he's a real paisa. So he wants like actual lard and real fried beans. He doesn't accept anything else other than that. Carnal Pastor, oh man. I'll let you guys know right now, there might be a crazy, crazy, crazy uh, life book coming, but next week for New Year's Eve, it's not for sure, but it's kind of for sure, I don't know. We're, uh, there's a lot of stuff in the works, but you guys just know that something potentially could be coming. Potentially, Probably, maybe, coming something might maybe be coming, potentially. What's that? This one. I like trying to look around these stores and find random stuff that you're... Okay, I'm not even going to try and explain it like it's cool. For whatever reason, since I was a kid, I've always thought I'm going to come into one of these stores and find like a brick of gold, and I'm speaking figuratively, right? Like, I'm going to find something where I could just like buy it and flip it for like 10,000 bucks. You know, you like pick it up for a dollar and flip it for 10,000, but it's, it's not going to happen. You're not going to, Doug. That's fucking dirty water. It's up for sale. That's disgusting. What is this? This is like the worst snow globe I've ever seen. Yeah. It's, it's garbage. Basically, you're, you're buying garbage. That's a snow globe with like lake water in it. Basically, if Hector doesn't fall through with the plans that I've set up for him that you guys don't know about, that's what I'm going to do to him. What? You're going to mount me? <laughs> you mount my head? That, oh, whoa, that sounded wrong. <laughs> the f I'm going to mount. What? That, that's called a wall mount. That, that's called a wall mount. <laughs> Not my fault. Your, your mind went there. Go ahead, Hector. Right, try to explain your side. Explain your side, Hector. What did you mean to say? It's a wall mount. You, you, you mount the head of a fucking animal you kill. That's what I meant. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. okay. All right, I got okay, it. All right. I got it. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Guys, I'm starting my gaming channel next month. Follow me on Twitch, I am Symphony, PlayStation. If you guys are uh, up for some Twisted Metal, Tekken, Come through, get smashed on. These stores have sick stuff in here, dude. It's just, this is the kind of store that I would come in if I had a crap load of money and spend way more than I should off like shit that I don't need. That's junk, basically. Apparently that guy's on Team Shady shit. Oh, we're very shady. The doorbell rang and then the UPS guy left something on the uh, front porch. I didn't know who it was for, so I picked it up, not even like really looking at the name because I didn't think it was for me, but it is. And it says I am Symphony, so it's pretty funny because I'm not used to seeing packages with that title on there, obviously, but it's a first. It's pretty cool. Shout out to the family at Easy ACC or Easy Act. They sent me this power block, power bank, power block. I don't know, forgive me, I can't speak. Um, I know this looks like a normal portable battery, but this is like a beast. So it has four outlets. So if you're in the car with your friends and you guys are all fighting out who's going to charge their phone next, you got one of these. It'll charge everybody multiple times. If you have an iPhone, it'll charge it seven times. If you have a Samsung Galaxy S, what is it? The newest one's like a seven or six or something like that. I don't know. It'll charge that thing five times though. And I like how it's nice and clean. There's nothing really like fancy and like stupid about it. You guys know how I am. I don't like logos. I just like clean, clean products. Even the packaging, super minimalistic. I think that's perfect for any tech product. You don't need to overdo it. It looks stupid when you have all that flamboyant stuff on there. At least to me it does. That thing's really worth it. Go to their website, easyacc.com and check out all their other stuff because they have more than just power banks. They have like anything you think of if you're into tech gear. I'm going to do a more comprehensive review on my channel as well, but this is just a quick, quick shout out to them for sending me the product. You guys are awesome.
Yes, I'm vlogging. There's cookies here. That just means I have to be a fat ass at the gym too. Mike, not just got out of a long relationship. We're not gonna say how long it's been. We're just gonna say hit up his Snapchat. Send him whatever you want. We're not saying send him anything in particular, but I mean, ladies, if you want to Snapchat. Supposedly <laughs> this guy's a beast at it. Let's see. Oh my god, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. It's nicely wrapped. I left my hat here in one of the last life books. I don't know which one, but I've been looking for it for like, I don't know, however long now. I'm just gonna keep the ball rolling with eating really bad because why not, right? So I went home and then Alex texted me literally like five minutes after I sat down in my room and he goes, hey, come over. And I go, okay. So I'm on the way here and he texts me and he goes, just walk in, I'm gonna go get McDonald's. And I go, okay, cool. And then I was like, man, McDonald's sounds really good. So what I'm trying to get at is this. This is gonna sound really random, but I was a vegetarian for like two years. I'm like, I was kind of vegan here and there too. like. Really, I just wasn't eating meat, right? I was trying to eat as clean as I could. I just wasn't eating animal products, really. Not for a moral reason, just because it made me feel good physically because training and working out and all that good stuff. Anyways, Alex moved the gym here. He was in Sacramento and he came here almost four years ago now. The second Alex came here, it was like nonstop temptation with just shit food. Like, I would, they would get so annoyed with me. I'd go eat with him and my brother and like I would literally bring like fruit or just whatever I was gonna eat and they would always just give me crap. Like, I don't know why you're doing that. Just like, it's just one time. This went on for about a year and I was strong. And then whatever, for whatever reason, I just broke. And ever since then, like I swear those guys, but mainly Alex have been the most terrible influence on me eating. Like if, it, if he didn't move the gym here, I'd probably still be adding years to my life being you know plant-based or eating real food but because he moved here I'm, I'm not making an excuse he doesn't force me to eat the food but it doesn't help it definitely doesn't help being around him at all there man this is Ali Annette singing I'll be there by the Jackson 5 if you know me you know I love anyone that was on Motown Records back in the day basically anyone that Quincy Jones discovered I'm obsessed with so I'm pretty excited to listen to this. Let's just jump into it. I don't want to wait any longer. And plus, the Wish Bus, I'm not a fan. Not just of their intros, of anyone's intros. I just don't like intros. I want to hurry up and get in the song. Get into the video. Nothing against anybody's intros, I'm just saying. If you guys don't know what song this is, I don't think we could be friends. That's a crazy natural vibrato. So when I say vibrato, guys, I am speaking of, uh, so when someone sings, you'll have one note that's clear cut all the way across, right? A vibrato would be one slightly changing, not even changing, but slightly like the way those notes sound when they're wiggling. So someone usually will hit a straight note and then at the end of it, they'll add a little vibrato. It sounds like it's just like a slight little wiggle. Sometimes it changes notes entirely back and forth, but it's usually just slight. hear it so the runs that I've noticed from her are cool because they remind me of guitar runs where some singers will like there's singers that do a lot of different runs but then they all do them differently if that makes any sense so a lot of singers will do ones where they're just all over the place my favorite are the kind that she's doing where there's slightly and subtle almost like you would do on a guitar where like 
you hear a lead guitarist be like playing with the band and he might add like a little quick little thing, a little solo thing that's like a couple notes long to the end of each little line. That's what she's doing with them. I like when they just compliment the song. They're not just taking over the entire thing, you know? She's got a lot of control. Because none of her notes sound like they're getting away from her. She, when she, she sings, she doesn't sound like Beyonce, but she attacks the lines a lot like Beyonce. And then the, the kind of, when she gets into her higher volumes, the throaty, nasally sound, sounds a lot like Beyonce. It resembles it the, the, the way that it's coming now. And it's, they don't, she doesn't sound like Beyonce, they have different voices, but they both attack those higher notes in the same way. And they, they have some of the same runs. That crazy falsetto. It's crazy how the artists that are like huge in the world today, like Beyonce, you almost forget that like a lot of other artists pick up subtleties that they do, and it's not copying, it's just what we've heard, you know, for the last 15, 20 years. That's around the time that Beyonce's been around, right? About 15, 20 years. That's my favorite part of the song, like, Michael does that too, but, or he did that too, but, um, you start the note and you hit the quick little, like, little quick little break in it at the end of each line. I mean, beginning of each line. That right there. I like this because she stuck to the original melody, and some people try to copy Michael too much, and you can't copy Michael. She's a beast. Even her falsetto was cool. I'll explain why it was so cool after this. I want to hear how she ends the song. All right, I'm gonna stop the show here. I like her. her uh, I like her falsetto because some people when they hit that falsetto at a higher volume, it sounds more of like a howl. You know what I mean? Hers still sound like a falsetto. Like sometimes when people get loud with it and they raise that volume, it sounds like they're like a dog or whatever, and it still sounds good, but it's too. It's too like in your face. Hers was a higher volume and it still sounded like she was singing. It didn't sound like she was making some sound effect. You know what I mean? So shouts up to her. I want to know how to pronounce her name. So guys, leave me in the comments or tweet me or something like that on how to say her name because I don't want to keep pronouncing it wrong. But that was sick. This was amazing. I'm going to go look at more of her videos next.